Inside this envelope is the Adafruit Jam, an RP2350 based microcomputer. I've wanted this thing for a while, but it's been sold out. Once I got the notification that they were back in stock, I quickly pulled the trigger. I have an affinity for tiny computers that push the limits, and this is definitely one of them. They named it appropriately. Look how jam-packed it is. By the way, I'm not sponsored, but Lady Ada, if you're watching, I'd happily test out any gear you send my way. So after assembly and stopping to admire its small size, I flip the switch and turn it on. I loaded CircuitPython and whatever version of Fruit Jam OS was the most current as of October 1st, 2025. I expected the startup screen, but I got an error instead. I checked out the GitHub issues and it looked like someone ran into this almost at the same time I did. One of the cool things about Fruit Jam OS is that you can edit the files right on the device. After reviewing the error message, it looks like I can throw in some magic numbers here and get the animation to run, but it's not a real fix. Hey, it worked. That's pretty neat. They did a good job with Fruit Jam OS. I think it's really cool that you can edit the files on the device and it has a ton of apps to check out. But I really just want to play Flapping Yan. At first, I wasn't very good, but after a lot of practice, this was my best run. Well, still not very good. I tried my luck with a few other games, but ultimately I wanted to see how Pico Mac would run on this thing. It takes a bit of setup, but there's a good write-up for the Fruit Jam Mac emulator on the Adafruit website. Once it's installed, it runs great. I tried some games, but I really couldn't get used to the controls. It could be user error, but the mouse is pretty sensitive. I took a break and left it on for a while, but when I came back into the room, the screensaver was on. I forgot about that, and this is a cool touch. The next day, an updated Fruit Jam OS was pushed out, which was really fast, and it looks like the issue was fixed, but I wanted to see if I could customize the startup screen to something more me, so I did. Check it out. I think the Fruit Jam is pretty neat, and I'd love to create some apps for it. I plan on revisiting this hardware once I get some more free time. Let me know in the comments if you've had a chance to check out the Fruit Jam or have any interest in it. Later.